So, um, yeah, this will probably be a fairly short and uh, relatively boring tech blog, being as how the week's been kind of gobbled up by the holidays and uh, really have not been practicing much at all, unfortunately. But I do have a little bit of stuff to show off. Um, first and foremost, last week's uh, horizontal cat eye experiments. I do recall I promised to throw some hybrids in there, and I still am working on those. Not ready to uh, really show anything off, but I realized when I watched the video that my uh, my cat eyes weren't creating that lovely little circular pattern that we love to see from our cat eyes. So I've been trying to uh, clean these up a little bit. with mixed success and trying to get them to go back the other way and that way get them going both directions the other way is still more of a linear extension though it needs more work um, aside from that of course I've been playing around with the unit circle grid that I mentioned last week and I'm having some success with that but it is very far from second nature so far. Ooh. But it's come along short. It's come along bit by bit. Yeah. Uh, aside from that, I have been having some luck with my but saw flowers. Namely, if you'll remember, a couple weeks ago, I was feeling comfortable enough with my anti-spins that I was beginning to play around with doing a split-time butterfly variant on the butterfly flower. And so what I've been playing around with ever since is how to break in and out of all these different variants quickly and efficiently so that they flow together and if you've noticed what I've noticed is that my left hand tends to drift a little bit I make that transition and my hands don't come together like they ought to with the split time variant but that and I'm having problems getting to it from the left side. But, aside from that, it's flowing better than it was. <laughs> so yeah, that's cool. Aside from that, um, I've been playing around a little bit with trammels, which are another variant of uh, how to produce an ellipse. This time it's your hand moving straight back and forth, and it can be thought of as essentially a flattened cat eye. I'm trying to get all the variants of that down in each direction. Once again, there's a nice little bounce that goes to it. And why? Well, because it's there. And as you can see, I'm getting relatively decent at doing it both ways with both hands. Which, as always, is clutch. And of course, working on these hybrid turns, which is an ongoing project. Yeah, anyway, so um, that's about the size of what I've been working on here, back in Colorado for the holidays, and uh, probably the next video you get out of me will be from Colorado as well. So, um, happy holidays everybody. And, uh, yeah, 
I'll see you next week.